Hello YouTube, Luigi here. Today uh, gives me great pleasure to show you this particular knife only because it is so exquisitely designed and so very well thought out. This is the Ken Onion Designed CRKT Swindle. CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool. I love that and tool thing at the end. Okay, I've already opened up the package, mailing package, because that takes too much time and chews up a lot of video time. There's the box. For the very first time, it comes on a condom. There it is. A very thin, well-designed gentleman's folder. Light-duty EDC. Definitely a dress-up knife. Uh, you should notice one thing immediately, and maybe two things if you're pretty sharp. First one is the position of the pocket clip. It is on the end. It has these two knurled, grabby things because you have to pull it apart to get it into your pocket. They say that's the worst part about the whole knife is remembering to do, the, do that. Once you get used to it, it's a snap. The rest of the knife is a work of art. Second thing you might notice is you don't see any blade showing. Wow. No blade. The only other knives I know of, and I'm sure there are more, that don't have any blade showing are any Quaken and uh, the uh, Will Moon Mark VI. And if, unless you get the Mark VI with the harpoon, then the harpoon sticks up. But there's no blade showing. Again, adding to its slimness and sleekness. Ease of carry. Second thing, third thing you might notice is that the pivot, for right-handed people, this is generally considered the presentation side of the knife. The pivot adjustment slot, whether it's a flathead or a Phillips or an Allen or a Torx, is not on this side. You have this clean button. It's on the frame lock side. It's on t'other side. So let's uh, open this thing up. You can see we got nice knurling here. I hope you can see that. The light is bad here. I haven't figured out this whole video thing yet. Can you see that knurling? I haven't figured out my lighting thing. Okay, it has IKBS bearing systems. I'm going to open it. Very first time. Could be stiff, not broken in. Let's see what happens. There you go. I didn't get that authoritative snap, but it opened all the way. It is a uh, Warncliffe blade. And i got to tell you, I generally am not a fan of Warncliffe's because I prefer a little bit of belly on my knife. And this is maybe has the slightest bit of belly. So that's how I was able to justify it. It's really nice. I'm going to show off my brand new idiot proof ruler. If you place the end of the blade, the end of the knife, at zero, you can read the ruler and see both blade length and handle length. And if you can add the two together, overall length in one easy calibration. Um, there you go. You can read that for yourself. So it's thin. The scales are stainless steel. They have a coating on them. The blade material is 8CR13MOV. It's a high hollow ground. And um, I really like it. Now let's talk about this pocket clip for a minute. We call them pocket clips. We don't say they're pants pocket clips. In this case, given the thinness of this knife, I think... Uh, this could easily carry well in an inside uh, breast pocket on a sport jacket. You know, because it carries like a pen, or even on the front breast pocket of the sport jacket. It doesn't necessarily, a knife this thin doesn't necessarily have to go in your pants. Very pleased with it. It's unlike a lot of other Ken Onion designs. doesn't look like um, a leek or a scallion or an onion or a chive. Or all those other things he does. It's better than that. You'll notice the handle is slightly sway back. This is sort of the opposite of what we're expecting because usually they curve the other way to fit in the pit 
of the palm. This does not do that. Okay, so the sway back design is an old friction um, friction folder uh, sort of thing. It goes way back. Haven't seen it in a while. They're nice knives. This is just the opposite. Now, because this is light duty, we're not necessarily looking to get a super grip on this, you know, Be because we're not skinning a buffalo or something with this. So I, I can live with that. That doesn't bother me at all. I think that adds to the general elegance of the knife. Okay, I am very pleased with this. I hope this, you can even see this thing. i got to figure out my lighting. Um, very pleased with this knife. It just came. This is not going to go into my EDC rotation. This is going to be set aside as going to church type knife because it's just that elegant. And my EDCs are, I consider, beaters. I'll do whatever the, and I do have a rotation now, and I'll do whatever I have to do with that knife during that day. But this is something different, something special. Okay, that's all I got. Um, hope you like this. It it's, uh, it was not expensive. Um, oh, another thing. It's got this Sebenza-like rounded spine. Very nice. Very nice. Just good job, Mr. Onion. Good job. Great attention to the detail. A success all around. Okay, that's it. God bless you. I love you all.